First, you should select the region of the sound you want to alter. Press the left and right buttons to move the start marker. You can switch between moving the start marker and the end marker by pressing the square button. So to move the end marker, now you will press the square button and then press the left and right buttons to move. To help you fine tune the markers, you can also zoom in or out using the analog stick. Press the start button to hear the selected region play. It'll keep on playing, looping around, until you press the start button again. You can keep on moving the start and end markers even while the sound is playing. To the left of the display is the carousel. This contains various editing commands such as trim and fade. You press the up and down buttons to select the command you want. Then press the X button to apply that command to the region you've selected. Here's an example. We've just recorded a new sound and there's a load of junk at the start and end of the recording. We just want to keep the middle section. All we have to do is move the markers until we have just the part we want to keep highlighted. Then select trim from the carousel, then press the X button to apply the trim command. The other commands work the same way. Just select the region you want to change, select the command you want from the carousel, then press the X button to apply the command. Take a look at the tooltips to get a better idea of what each command does.